I owe you guys an Iniesta epic trick. If you've watched the previous video, you'd know that I owe you an epic training guide for Andres Iniesta. So this is how I trained Iniesta. Currently, just 13 and 13, 13, 13 for Iniesta. And for those who don't have Iniesta, this is how you can get him very easily, quick and fast without stressing yourself. So when you go to the missions, you would find the uh, Gracias Andres Iniesta mission over there. To get it in the easiest possible way ever in this game, you would have to go to match, tournament, the FIFA E World Cup. The first FIFA E World Cup, for those people who don't know, just play round one. Just play it for eight times and you will get Andres Iniesta Epic Player in less than five minutes. Very easy. This is another day and we've got Epic at 2 and stuff. But I'm still going to maintain my, you know, Tammy Abraham is very little. So I wouldn't spend any questions at all. One thing I want to talk about is the daily Epic Penalty Trick. It's still working. But for today, I didn't restore the data. But I played it right. Unfortunately, this goalkeeper couldn't save it. This is the first time the goalkeeper has seen where I'm playing it to. But he can't save it that proves my theory that always play to the right that's the best way to complete this event very very fast the other thing is when you get a video to a chance deal in the previous video i talked about not claiming the reward because you want to power some up and yes you still have to power up but i realized that even when you power it up and then you open it just once it still resets to 50 players in the box I was assuming that it would come down 50, 49, 48, 47, but it's still 50 regardless. So this is another pro player. We're going to text our Andrest in the Star Training Guide on him. And guys, please, as usual, like, share, subscribe, like, share, subscribe with everyone. And my opponent has Bullet Edda Cristiano Ronaldo. I'm going to mark Cristiano Ronaldo Bullet Edda. This is... This is the first time in a while since I'm meeting this kind of bullet that Cristiano Ronaldo. And uh, let's see what happens. We start with our kickoff glitch. But unfortunately, the opponent is starting first, so we won't do a kickoff glitch. So as we shall move back, make sure your player gets close to the ball before you give a command as usual. Also, make sure you play every match as if it's lagging because yes, every match is a lagging. Even if it doesn't show that it's lagging at the start of the match. Trust me, it will eventually lag. So the strategy is to play every match as if it's lagging. See, like it lagged over there. So if you are playing every match as if it's lagging and the lag happens, you won't be caught off guard. That is a very brilliant, fantastic strategy you have to use. Clear the ball over here. Don't try and do a pass over there. Because even if the match is smooth over there, and you give a pass over there, you don't know when the game will lag and it will cost you. This place, I can give a lofted pass because I know I've calculated everything. I know that... Even if I misplace this over there, my opponent can't catch me off guard. So it's about the situation. I have to clear over there. Take note of the situations. It's about the situations that you would have to know exactly what you have to do in every situation. Yeah, you, you, you'd have to use matchup and brilliantly it worked. And outside killer, Lionel Messi had to score our first goal for us. Move backwards with Tamiya Vira. Make sure you're in front of the opponent at the start. Now we are going to catch our opponent on a quick counter attack and tammy abraham couldn't connect the troopers to leon messi and here we go again whenever the ball is on the wicks it's very tricky but you'd have to switch at a timely and precise manner to your left back or right back to match up so you'd have to take notice of that and he tried causing to bullet the other but you know he couldn't break the defense and again bullet edda is not working for my opponent bullet edda is actually a skill for like a, a special skill for ronaldo for those who don't know that's the context at which i'm you know mentioning bullet edda player i cleared over there because i know lagging can happen anytime i know how the lagging happens so you'd have to you know take careful notes like i keep repeating myself about this lag then because yeah it's it's the brilliant strategy i i tried giving you pass there but it delayed the thing also about lag is that sometimes you want to give a pass or a true pass but then the true pass doesn't doesn't register it will just register as a pass and that was like this might be abraham's best goal ever on this channel like outside keller tammy abraham is crazy look at this magnificent goal 
outside Kelly bro 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 you are the best striker no cap so move back with Tammy Abraham make sure you are in front of your opponents and Gulit successfully intercepted that you cleared because we don't have enough time to think just think fast the fastest thing to do at that moment was to clear now we move back what is my opponent gonna do okay it's making some passes uh western mckinney intercepted that successfully and saliba came in last like we would have to give the i wanted to go for a true pass but if i give a true pass it's very easy for the opponent to intercept so i went for the standing shot yet still he intercepted but the standing shot is interception was better than if i had made a true pass if i had made a true pass it would be positioned perfectly to counter me but the standing part the standing shot i did over there is player came from behind to intercept the ball so that is another brilliant tip and trick you guys should know and this is a 47 minutes like everything is going somewhat lagging somewhat smooth so always make sure you're playing the match as if it's lagging that's the number one strategy kickoff glitch didn't work unfortunately i tried to give the true pass but it delayed and what is he gonna do he missed his chance i've given you guys this epic goalkeeper training guide i'm going to find another crazy as dope goalkeeper that is equally matching to david seaman the goalkeeper i'm using now is called david seaman is an epic goalkeeper and by far the best goalkeeper i've ever used in eFootball since i started eFootball in 2021 but I started PES and PES 17. I'm just saying eFootball. I started eFootball in 2021 because that's when they, they changed from PES to eFootball in 2021. From 2021 eFootball, the best goalkeeper I've played is this current goalkeeper called David Seaman. is crazy and Gullit is also my top attacking midfielder ever in eFootball so far like Gullit is a round a well-rounded player that can play most positions so Tammy Abraham intercepted that and I gave the true pass there because like the space you'd have to watch the space between your player and the opponent's player when giving true passes if the space the space tends to close up and open up very very tricky so you'd have to be very very fast as I've told you guys in previous video I'll talk more about this later in another video so don't worry we'll, we'll talk more about this if you don't understand how i'm true passes but basically most of the time i just do a try and error because it's better to do try and error than to stand and then you can't see the stupid goal in this position i gave a lofted pass because uh, i could have also done the shot over there but it's a personal preference at that point a lofted pass would have been useful for me to attack effectively compared to you know uh, uh a clear ball with a clear ball the game decides wherever the clear ball would go so if i want the game to decide where the clear ball would go then i clear but if i want to decide where the air ball would go then i use the lofted pass i hope it makes sense so i'm moving backwards with andres and yesta so far he has been fantastic and nice interception by william saliba i gave it a lofted pass again because i want to control where my pass would go instead of the game controlling where the air ball would go usually with clear balls or air balls the game would control where the air ball would go that is why i give lofted pass sometimes instead of clear ball and that's the final goal guys that's been one of an easy match and as usual i'm gonna see you guys in the next one and like share subscribe join the telegram group link inside the video description let me know what you want to see in the next video but in the next video i'm gonna drop another epic video make sure to check out the previous video and guys i'm gonna see you in the next one bye bye peace out